Welcome, friends, to my man cave. That's my incense. It's opium. Now, I'm not suggesting anyone get high on opium unless they've got it. Because it could be very detrimental to your process. Because you're going you're gonna to be lazy. You're going to be sitting down. If you do smoke opium, you can come over. We'll hang out. We'll have the opium chats. I don't really know. Let this dude on my face. I'm trying to knock it out. Oh well. I have my whip. Let's try it with this. Hold on. Do a, a miniature experiment. If I can knock it off with that. Fall, fucker. It's not as much in my face. If I scoot over, I guess that would be the, the right thing to do. I guess I could knock it off. Ah, refreshing. I like to use a lot of different stuff. Obviously, those that are here know that, you know, I, I have weird stuff I like to mess with, play with. Because it, these are good, like, they, they're... They're fascinating tools to connect you to other realms. I mean, it's a fucking laser beam. It stands up into the height of the sky. I mean, how could you not want to have one of these? Why would you not want one? I don't shoot it at pilots' eyeballs. They they more bother me than me than I bother them. They gang stalk me and they bring the helicopter and they all look with their little helmets on and shit. It's happened. Happens. But with all the all the news channels on, why would I try to go news channeling? I just want to talk about the world from a different perspective. Certain things. And I, I, although I do not have the news as such. I can share what has peered its way into my world. I'm not ignorant of the things, but I, just, I don't really watch the mainstream's news very much. I go in there and look at it. I'm like, a, I watch my dad watch the news. Let's say, okay, let's say that. Let's be real. And I wanted to bring some stuff up about my dad because my dad has the trachea too. Now, he had maintained that his cancer was chemtrail related the whole time. The whole time. Doesn't even jones me about smoking cigarettes. He used to smoke a shitload of Marlboro Reds, the cowboy killer. I'm not fearing cancer. I'm not disrespecting cancer for its killing force. But I'm also not allowing it into my body. I'm not saying that I'm granting it access because I smoke a cigarette. I'm granting access to my chill the fuck out and addictive nature having... I, I shouldn't smoke, but I do. But I do. And maybe one day I won't. And maybe one day I'll lose my lungs. These are all consequences of life. But what I was going to say before I got sidetracked was my dad has a two. Now, see, if you get a tracheotomy, you, there's a lot of weird stuff. Like when someone gets a bag, did you know that the, I, had to, I had to ask somebody, do they sew your butthole shut? They do. They do. That's got to be one of the most horrible things to have to deal with in the human condition is a colostomy bag. And imagine that with the relationship dynamics. That's pretty fucked up. But a friend of mine got one. I haven't seen him since he's had it. It's uh, my friend Victor's brother. And uh, I won't mention his name or nothing like that. I don't find it in, in important. But my dad has this tube that is like a jumper duck between his windpipe and his uh, esophagus, you know, his uh, trachea and his esophagus are two different tubes. Trachea is the air tube. The esophagus is your um, food uh, tube going into your digestive system. Sorry if I sound stupid, but I'm not. I'm just I'm trying to articulate my words to, to bring this on. This is all on the fly. I'm not, I don't study this. I just want to share. And I, I like to make the videos. And I like to be able to meet people and... I think people care and it matters if you have people that care. Well, he has a tumor 
growing. Now, I tried to call the doctor the other day because he doesn't currently even have a doctor. All of his doctors have fired him. You know? And here's what's fucked up, and I want to talk about it because this is a condition that people are in that are in pain and are older. He goes to the doctor and he smokes pot. He's made himself an oil and he painted it on him and he let it sit for a long time and it is helping him with his pains and he's fucked up. Like he's in pain and he's in pain. You know what I mean? Some people are fucked up because of their accidents. He had a, a backhoe or something flip over while he was on it and I don't know. But he's lucky to be alive. But, you know, I've sustained quite a bit of injuries too, but not, not the type that my dad has and has lived with. And he's been on pain medicine for like 30 years. Lock it down. He's a robot. And these old people that take medicines, if they, because of the weird laws and shit, they have to do all this shit to cover up their weed. It's like, if you smoke weed, you're, then you're an addict. You can't have any other medicines. Is what they want to try to say. And he's not an addict. I'm an addict. You know what I mean? Like, that's not even the issue. You know what I mean? And I think now there's some sort of, you know, they've had advanced stuff. There's different stuff you can do to go and take a piss test. Because if you're going to take pet and pain medicine and get it, they're going to piss test you the whole time and treat you like some sort of outcast. And that's fucked up that the doctors are like that now. And people can be like, well, the, the opioid addiction, you know. Well, yeah. But they don't, they don't have any pain regimen that people are on that really works. Sadly to say. You know what I mean? And what business is it there it's anyways? You know? That's just another aspect of them trying to control every fucking thing. All our behaviors. What we do. You know? If they have a resource called a pain medicine... They should have a pain fucking person in pain who ought to be able to receive it. And they shouldn't be up our ass on all these choices and shit like that. That's what I'm talking about. We should be able to make our own choices regarding things like that. It shouldn't be the stigma there is. It's just dumb. It really is. You know, because a lot of people that are in pain and mitigate their pain using a natural pain killing substance are having to go through all this weird shit. Like, he would have to buy the fake piss and then crunch up his medicine because he'd have to have that in. He couldn't give him his piss with his medicine and the weed in it. Then they would fire him. You know, he, t he did this tap dance deliberately, uh, or according to the rules, you know, but not, you know, how one has to do it. And that's the truth, I'm telling you, because that's what I'm trying to represent. You know, I'm not putting it out there like that because I'm not mentioning the names. I'm just saying this was the situation of the person called my dad, you know. So now he has a tumor and it's growing where the implant is and it's causing a bunch of problems. Now, the doctor was closed as of Friday and they won't be open again until Tuesday. But he needs to get in there. And if somebody looks at that, they'll probably be like, you're going to the hospital. And now maybe that's the only route that he'll get to go. Because if they put him through that whole thing, again, they'll probably give him some pain medicine again. But as soon as he doesn't have a primary doctor, you know, and they, and they just fire their, their patients over dumbass shit. The doctor was refilling his medicine, would come out here, and then didn't come. For a long time. And when he asked him who have you been seeing. And it was supposed to have been him. And it wasn't him because he never came. He got all scary. And then fired my dad from you know having a doctor. And it's not easy for him just to get a doctor. You know. it's Everything's a mess. You know. I don't have any fucking remedy. With medicine or stuff like that. I have to just find it myself. I don't go to the doctor or do any of that. Unless I'm about to die. Or I'm bleeding my fucking life force out and someone needs to sew me up because I can't do it. I'll probably be still super glue it. I will. You can super glue a wound and you'll be all right. You will not get infected. You clean it out and you super glue that baby. I'm just saying. 
super glue works. I was a sheet metal worker for many years. And sheet metal is a greasy ass metal. And you telling me as many times as I've cut myself, super glued myself back in the field. I didn't get any infections. I'm alive. I have all my fingers. But I was a professional tin bender for almost 20 years. I like that job. I would love to go back and do it. I don't think I could do it in the field on fucking jobs. I'd love to work in the shop. Putting duct together and shit like that. I could put the duct together all day long. Bum, 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 bum. The problem is all the dreams you have of hammering. So, I'm going to try to get that fixed for him on Tuesday. I do all this stuff, and it's not really that much of a job. It's really not, you know. They do the same thing with the job. They make all these weird loopholes because they're trying to digitize everything. They're trying to digitize and make um, activities and such, uh, you know, billable or persuadable to how you spend your money. You know, that's where the money system is going and that's kind of fucked up. But in a way, I guess the ideas that they have for these things in the imaginable realm are quite amazing sometimes when you find out about them. You know what I mean? Like, because essentially, if you were able to do what you are, like they say, I am what I do, and you do that. Say it's make music, it's make sculptures, it's do research, or work on different stuff. If you are able to do that and still be able to have new things, a home, you know, and that sounds like some sort of commie thing, and I don't know... Because I'm not working on putting it together. But I try to immerse myself in where I'm at. And produce in some sort of way to the, you know, the society at, at large. I'm not antisocial. Antisocial. I'm just divergent. But, whatever wanted to say that because I can ask for prayers for my dad in that situation because really he needs to get back on medicine he's not a, he's he's a person in pain that's not getting any out of pain and I don't know how many more years he'll live in the state that he is I don't but I plan to be here with him when he he goes and that's an unexpected blessing to me but it doesn't really get a slight disadvantage in that while immersing myself into this job or being the assistant son sibling like person to father like figure as I joke um, I would have to build new uh, lines of you know capital that I don't have yet currently flowing I don't sell drugs and the stuff that I do of the spiritual nature and, and creative endeavor, I usually give that away to people that are around me. Like if I make Orgone, I do it for them. You know, if I can uh, assist, you know, in some sort of weird psychological fucked up dynamic, I like those. I like helping people with that or, you know, I can see things uh, they can't a lot of times. And that's a that's useful to give away. And, but I do, I give it away. I don't really have, I don't monetize anything too much. Well, I don't know. I guess I'm living in a fairy tale. 